Calling all foodies, I've got the most delicious film of the year, and it's going to be our very first French film review that we've ever done on this podcast. It's called A Taste of Things, and we're going to be diving into it right now. Welcome to the Light Camera Rant Podcast. Your source for the latest on movies, TV shows, and video games. Get ready for ranting, raving, and reviewing. Here is your host, Lee. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lights Camera Rant. As mentioned, we're going to be diving into the brand new French film, The Taste of Things. Now I would like to say thank you very much to Studio Canal for inviting me to the premiere here in Australia. And to be honest, I was very excited for this. When I saw the poster, when I saw the trailer for it, I was like, I've never done a French film review. It's been a very long time since I've seen a French film. And I was like, all right, sold. You know, I'm in. Let's go check this out. And straight off the bat, I, I can't stress this enough. This film made me so hungry. And not true. The last movie I watched where I was you know, got really hungry, hungry was The, the Menu. It came out ooh, last year. Yeah, last year. came out last year. Um, and this film is just checked up another notch. This film only goes for 145 minutes. And about 40 to 50 minutes is just food prep. And it will just make you hungry. And it will make you want to be a better cook. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's what's going to do for you. So this film is about Eugenie. She is a cook who's been working for a gentleman called Dalton, a gourmet chef. They've had a partnership for over 20 years. Now, this is a cooking love story all rolled into one. And when I was living together for about 20 years, and as the time goes on, they've become in sync with each other. All every dish they make, everything, they just work together beautifully. Now, Eugene, now Dalton, he invites his friends over and Eugenie makes this beautiful meal for him, as she does always. And Dalton's friends are all together. They they respect Eugenie because of her artistry and how good of a cook she is. Except this particular meal they have, they absolutely love it. But the reason why they absolutely love this one is because they go, there's a prince nearby in town. And this, this is, of course, called, of course it's Santa a little French village in 1889. And they go up to this prince who has this fantastic chef who will cook them an eight-hour meal. Now, they are semi-excited about it, but at the same time, they're like, okay, let's see what this is. And it becomes very disappointing for them. Now, they're like, oh, like this wasn't right, this wasn't right, this wasn't right. Whole list of things. And because of that, they appreciate Eugenie's food a lot more. And you see the detail, you see the craft in every scene. Just probably, again, the food prep in this, the cinematography in it, I was like, this is so good. Like, no point in all the food prep are you a little bit like, oh, this is, uh, this is taking a long time. Like, you appreciate every single scene, every single drop that they go into. So when they do make this dish, they all leave and... It's a great evening. And as Dalton and Eugenie are talking, Dalton does propose to her. He's like, oh, why well, can't we get married? And they've, been, they've never been married. They're in a romantic relationship together. They live in separate, they sleep in separate rooms. And Dalton's proposed to her multiple times. She always says no because, you know, everything's fine as it is right now, which is fair. And that's all right. And during the cooking, what they also get is that they have Violet, who is uh, who helps them with the cooking and around the house, and she they have her little cousin rocks up called Pauline, which these little kids actors do so good at what they're doing, um, and they take a little interest in Pauline because she has you know when you have instantly have a green thumb or you're instantly really good at basketball, she's the same thing. She has instantly really good at cooking and guessing the flavors. So Dalton gives her a spoon of the food that they're prepping, and she can name real off nearly all of the ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She just rolls up, and Dalton's like, holy shit. <laughs> Obviously in French. Holy shit. Um, so 
and they go, okay, well, look, let's go meet our parents. Like, let's let's recruit and become an apprentice. So they go off to go see. They have to go see the parents' family. They do uh, do offer, but they do. They are going to think about it this time because obviously putting it, she's very young. You know, she's only like nine or ten, so very young to put her in an apprenticeship. But they say, look, think about it. Now, after the absolutely fantastic meal that Eugene makes, Dalton goes, well, you know what? The prince's food was horrible. I'm going to make a dish. I'm going to invite the prince, and we're going to have a meal. Now, as they go to go, as he starts playing it out, unfortunately, at this time, Eugenie, she starts fainting uh, uncontrollably, and she doesn't know why. But she says, of course, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. And it gets worse and worse. Don has the doctors come through. They can't, obviously it's 1889, they can't figure out what's wrong with her. So Dalton starts getting a little bit, uh, obviously concerned for the woman that he loves and he's been with for so long. So what he does, the next big food prep is he makes, he makes her a dinner, a absolutely fantastic gourmet dinner that you'll be like, oh, I would love to have someone prepped that for me. And right at the end, he puts another little ring in there and proposes to her, proposes to her once again. And as he proposes to her, she finally says yes. And then they celebrate. They have all their friends over. And they're going to get married in the autumn of their years together. And it's so beautiful. It's really nice. It's just really beautiful. But unfortunately, this is where it, ta- it becomes a bit more tragic. As it, one morning, Dalton works, wakes up. Uh, next to Eugenie, but unfortunately she has passed away in her sleep. And you and you feel for him. You really you really feel for him. He's gutted. He, he tells Violet, and it's just gutted. His friends come over, and he's grieving, like as anyone would. They've just lost the love of their life, and you were going to marry her, so they never get married. And when he said he becomes heartbroken, it's like, you know, a man, you know, his muse, the thing that made him cook, the main thing he wanted, you know, his song, his dance is no longer there. So he, he stops cooking. He becomes very isolated. His friends try and help him. His friends also try and find other cooks, but he just throws them away and cross early. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it at all. And you can, feel, you can honestly feel it. But the little twist of fate is that Pauline's parents come past and say the fact they've heard the news about Eugenie. They say sorry. Their condolences. However, Pauline would still would like to be an apprentice. At first, Dalton's like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. As we've seen in multiple different movies, we're like, oh, no, I'm not taking an apprentice, no way, not doing that. But eventually he does. He does take her on, and he starts looking for another cook. Some turn out bad, some turn out a little bit worse, as they all try. And it was this really nice scene that I really loved, where they, Eugenie made this really this fantastic dish. And only she could only she could make it. But he gives it to this lady and say, you know, give this a crack. It's a whole it's a big list. So they look at the list and she looks and goes, I can't make this. Because you know, it's a very intense dish and this dish was kinda of made out of love, so they couldn't she didn't decide no. She said, No, it's fine. But as he's trying all these different uh, cooks, she's given he's given the food to Pauline to test as well and testing on all their skills. And then when he, oh, only the point where he kind of, he doesn't fully give up, he's, he said no to multiple. One of his friends rocks up and says, oh, look, this is what a chef in a nearby town made. Go test it. Go eat this. He eats, Dalton eats it, loves it. And then Pauline tastes it. He, She loves it too. So Dalton's like, oh, let's go find this cook and like try and recruit her. And he does leave. And there was a split second where I thought he wasn't going to have Pauline come at all. But because she's just sitting there looking down. And then Dalton comes through back and goes, like, what are you doing? Come on, come with me. And they leave. And then the camera sits there, and it just pans around the kitchen that they're sitting there. Because often the main scene is, just, of course, in the kitchen. It just pans around. Daylight goes. It's one shot, which is a beautiful representation of time passing, of everything going on. And the last scene is a flashback between Eugenie and Dalton uh, talking, and he's like, you know, am I what, your wife, or am I your cook? And Dalton goes, you're my cook. And, he, you know, usually anyone would go, oh, you know, that's, oh, that's horrible, I want to be your wife. But that's what she, but that's what she preferred. So she has this giant smile on her face, 
and then the end scene, and it's beautiful. And this film, I just found it's it's such a good film and just a love story. And you will see not only my reviews, you will see other people's reviews, not as good as mine, obviously. Uh, how positive this film is, and I found it to be really very different to what we again very different to what we usually review here at Lights Camera. But it was just something very different, something very refreshing. You know, of course, my eyes were one straight, one down, trying to read the subtitles because I'm obviously can't I can't speak French. I uh, add to my listing <laughs> of what I need to do. But if you're just looking for like a nice, really good love story, and you're a big foodie, you're really going to love this. The cinematography, the setting, everything bl- blends really well together. It is sad, and you have to accept that. Um, but it's a beautiful love story. Uh, director uh, Dr- An- uh, Tran, who directed this film, he did a fantastic job with this film, st- start to finish. He knew what the mission was. And this actually story about Dalton is actually based on a book. Um, however, the, where the book takes place is where the movie ends. So Mr. Tran wanted to do, he wanted to really shoot a film all about food, so he did a prequel. So this is a prequel to that book that it's based on. So there is a book on this. Um, and it's just, it was just really good to see. I give all props to the actors um, all together. They, the performance, you feel every gut punch on love, remorse, gutted, and his you know, friends. They respected Eugenie so much, and you see how much the loss is. But if you're looking for hey, if you're looking for a different film, something really good, something that's not you know, aliens exploding or mass you know horror or you know a straight out just too many laughs comedy slapstick, and you're just looking for a nice sweet love story with a great topping of fantastic setting and sides of. Wow, this is gonna this is making me hungry right now. And a side of beautiful cinematography, this is the dish for you. Best well served in front of uh, TV underneath the blanket. So, but look, if you've seen this film, I'd love to know what do you think of it. What did you like about it? Are you gonna go see it in the cinemas? It has won awards. Uh, it's done fantastically. I'm very curious to know what it's gonna do with the box office right now so, but this is the film i highly recommend and foodies i love you hey, any of these dishes are you going to make and as always ladies and gentlemen until next time happy ranting thanks for listening to lights camera rant if you like the show don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode while you're at it leave us a rating and review and be sure to tell your friends until next time Happy ranting.